Okay, guys, I'm sitting out here after work. It's Monday, I don't know, the 26th, I think, or something, 25th. And I can't help but notice what I see in front of me. Take a look. That is my first boxcar willy. Ripe, ready to be tasted. I've heard these were pretty good. I haven't tried them yet. This is the first time growing these. So let's get over there and get it picked. And let's do a taste test. See what the boxcar willy tastes like. All right, so you ready to try the tomato? Uh -huh. All right, so me and Tyler here are going to try our first boxcar willy, right? What's this called? Bullets. Boxcar willy. Uh, yeah. So anyway, nice size. It's supposed to be like a small, hearty tomato. So let's cut into it. See what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> so not too many seeds, not like a juicy tomato. It actually looks really meaty. Probably good in sauces. Good sauce tomato. And mmm. Very tangy, like a full flavored tomato. Let's see what he thinks. Here. What do you think about it? What are your first impressions? You like it? Bite the skin too. You can bite the whole thing, not just the inside. All right, folks. So he looks like he likes it. This would definitely be good in like a tomato sauce or something. So definitely a a paste kind of uh, tomato. Really good. Okay. So all in all, anyway, the boxcar willy is a little slightly acidic. So definitely good for probably canning pasta. My wife said salsa, for sure, with all the peppers and some of those. So, I definitely like it. Um, I definitely like my cherry tomatoes better for, like, salads and stuff. But that boxcar willy is a good addition to the garden, and I'm glad I'm growing it. So, hopefully we get a lot more out of them this season. Anyway, just a quick video on the first boxcar willy taste. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.